Hey there guys, it's A from Capital Decals and uh, I'm bringing you a deck profile of my nearly completed Herald Pro Perfection deck. Basically, uh, this deck is Happy Heralds. Uh, basically, it utilizes normal monsters and uh, I have actually been playing this deck for many months now. Uh, I've played many variants, I've tried to perfect it and this is the best I can come up with. Uh, the conclusion I came to was this deck honestly is not that great. Um, it suffers too much from dead draws and I have tried my best to limit them. But as, what can you do? You're running normal monsters, you're gonna get some bad draws sometimes. But basically, it is Happy Herald, so please enjoy. So we have free Herald of Perfection. These are actually my friends. Uh, my, my one actually has the ghost versions, but ultras are nice. Free of your standard effect veiler, destroy. Very good card. Free managers. I love this card so much. Favorite card of the deck. Such as anything you need. One honest. Two lovely priest cheers. Such a good play. One six star. Two Moki Mokis. <laughs> Free of the elusive happy lever. And Free Gallon Duo, still working on the last one. So I'll explain the strategy later, but I'll just go for the deck now. Two Solidarity, three cards from the sky, one Dawn, one Advanced Visual Art, free Preparation of Rights. Let me tell you, these were a bitch to get. One Monster Reborn, one Heavy Storm, no Dark Hole, because basically, if, if you have a Christian or a Herald in the field, you probably want to want to get rid of it. Two part of duality. I'm sad it's limited. I mean, sad it's limited, but yeah. Two for Ben Lance and a free decree. All right. So basically, I'll explain the strategy. Obviously, you want decree out as soon as possible, so you don't have to discard as much for Herald to negate. Um, we have two attack modulation cards. So solidarity and for Ben Lance. For Ben Lance can be used defensively too, but mainly these four cards are for keeping your Herald, I guess, big? Keeping it big, I guess, yeah. Solidarity is, works great in this deck. It turns into a 2600 beater. And uh, we have... Okay, the, the Gallon Duos are probably the next best thing after Manju. They uh, they let you tribute for Christian. And... I have not thought about this, but I recently just came up with the idea of Dark Lord Desire. So, if you guys, you know... You guys want to splash this in? Feel free to do so. I think it's a very good card. I haven't used it up till now, but I definitely recommend it. So, Chris, Gallon Duo. If you draw one in your hand, I guess you're safe for the time being because this this deck is extremely slow, and so this will help you stall a bit. So that covers that. You only need two of these. Uh, oftentimes, I mainly just go for this. Get the effect off. I won't summon more than two heralds per game. It's usually just one. I just keep on the field. And Dawn of the Herald is just there, I guess. Normally after I use this, this is a dead card, so I don't want to run too much of it. And because uh, you're running so many normal monsters right here, you will want to run free cards of the sky. Because this will help you remove any, I guess, dead cards. Because you want all of these in your deck. And because I'm not running Dark Mastery of... Dark Factory of Mass Production? Factory of Dark... Well, whatever. That card that um, returns two of your normal monsters back to your hand. So, in the past, that was the main strategy for the deck. So you just add those and you could keep negating over and over with lots of resources. But after I tried that deck, it's honestly not that great. I mean, like, you can negate all you want, but in the end, in this meta, you have an 1800 Herald of Perfection, which even an Alias or a Ryo can just run over. So, yeah. I took that card of my deck. Basically, this is lineup. Uh, the the best play I guess you can have is you open up with let's say a preparation of rights or a manju um, or both. So basically, you search this card. You use this to search your herald of perfection. So now you have these two cards. You play advanced ritual art. You will send. Two happy lovers, two Moki Mokis for the level six, and then you will summon your Herald of Perfection, 
And because now you have four in your graveyard, if you drew lucky, you can just go straight for special summon Chrissia. And from there, it's a very, it's, a, it's pretty much an uphill battle for your opponent, especially if you play stuff like Solidarity, Forbidden Lance. They cannot, they can't get over anything. They're basically forced to special summon, I mean, normal summon big beaters. So yeah, that's the main build, I guess, guys. Um, like I said, this deck. Uh, I didn't want to play Herald Agents because I honestly hate Agents. I'm gonna be brutally honest with you guys. I hate Agents so much. Just like I hate Dark Worlds. I don't know why. I just have a bias towards them. But yeah, I didn't like Agents, so I decided to play Happy Heralds instead of Herald Agent Heralds. But I've actually come up with a new deck list that's Chaos Heralds, and um, I will be testing that out. But I predict it'll be much better than this deck. So. Keep your eyes out for that. So, thanks for watching, guys. See ya.